Cardiff did an after show after my interview with Stuttering John. And I guess I had to leave. We went a lot longer than I thought we were going to. I had plans with someone, so I had to leave and, and go out. And John wrapped things up. And Cardiff got very teary-eyed by what happened after I left. <laughs> and John gave his final goodbyes to the Dabbleverse. And this might have been my Field of Dreams moment with Stuttering John. You got teary-eyed. I did. Wow. I did. This was like, this was like, made me realize this is a human being we've been tormenting for two and a half years now. <laughs> this was finally, after all this time, this is the first time he's appeared human to me. All right. So then uh, Cardiff actually plays that video of how he wrapped up the show. And I apologize for Cardiff's audio. It sucks. <laughs> sucks balls. <laughs> Let's chat about it tomorrow. All right. I'll see you. All right, see ya. All right, Carl Hamburger. Now, Bro. I want to point out this is about 8.30 at night. Because John has no lights in his house, he literally, his green screen started failing halfway through, and it just went dark because he has no light fixtures at all. Classic. And I said, can you turn on the light? He goes, no, it's behind the green screen. <laughs> can you position yourself in a different way so that the light is in front of you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> all right. Um, why do they podcast? And I'll just read these last two and I'll get the fuck out of here and watch the Yankees. Dang, was it $2? John, you're as great as the wall. I know. I know. <laughs> he is the same love color the as the wall. Love the Civil War, Confederate General, look, you pulling, John. Keep it up. <laughs> hey, look, I love you all. Thanks for the super chats. I realize that you're all Carl fan. A lot of you are Carl fans. But it's been a pleasure to be here. And I don't have any, I don't really care about you know who he freezes up a lot yeah. <laughs> i have the same wi-fi company so hurrah <laughs> and i'm done with all of this this was my swan song oh, no. i hope you all enjoyed it and um now i will go watch the yankees and just bid you all a farewell and this is stuttering john Saying thank you. I appreciate you all. And that's it. Except for. This is Stuttering John. (laughs) (laughs) Did I oversell it, OJ? All right. So that was uh, Cardiff saying how sad it was. The way that John left the show. Right, it said Brooks was here on the wall behind him. There's a, a noose hanging down. Well, yeah, it did seem like a suicide. No, Cardiff, do you still feel sad about this? Uh oh, he's muted. Hold on, hold on, Cardiff. Let me unmute you. Oh, you're muted on your end. I guess there's no room oh, for an old Hello? stuttering John Hello? in this world. Hello. <laughs> yes, it did. It was. I still feel it was a haunting moment. Yes, but uh, John. John is okay. It was shot beautifully. His NYU film school uh, definitely <laughs> right. paid off. It did pay last off last night. So it's <laughs> yeah, funny. Then, it's a camera action, right? That's what the that's how it goes. <laughs> right, no yeah. lights. Yeah, yes. literally film noir. <laughs> so, so Cardiff then talks about how John seems sober and like a real person, and then so he's going on. This is an hour into Cardiff's wrap up show. And he's, he's going, yeah, John, he actually had his shit together. He was being coherent. And then this happens. I don't think so. How would you want a sharp cookie? Cut your tongue. Yeah, it doesn't. Or maybe. Holy shit. Uh, thank you, Michael Walsic. Stuttering John Melendez. How are you? Sir? No way. Wow. I'm honored, Welcome. John. No. <laughs> <laughs> Stuttering John Melendez is here. How are you, sir? Welcome to the show. I'm good. Did you join my show today? (laughs) (laughs) Just one hour later. (laughs) Got a shit can. Oh my God. Drinking a Yankees loss. How do you spell what he just said? (laughs) A lot of S's. A a lot of J's. A lot of F's. Z's. (laughs) John Charles shot today. Rich Foss. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) All right. Holy shit. So Cardiff says that John won the show. Well, here's and, the thing. It's been, I gotta ask you, Carl. I enjoyed you. You won today, Stuttering John. You won today. Oh, thank you. But he's bringing up shit like from so many years. It's like, dude, 
That's the way you're going to get me is bringing up shit from fucking five. Ten. Like, it's like. Don't make really? me call the hypocrisy police, John. You do the same thing. No, but not anymore. <laughs> <All right>. uh, <laughs> so he's got an excuse. No, he's got an answer. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I've been an asshole for a while, but I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> so no one else is allowed to now either. So this is a weird new angle that John's taking because uh, the debate that I had with him yesterday, we brought up a lot of things that John's done in the past that would be hypocritical based on what he says now, which is how hypocrisy works. <laughs> it's something that you did in the past, then you things that you say now. And John goes, Well, let's not go too far back in the past. 18 months is the limit. If you go back further than 18 months, then it doesn't count. He just keeps making up these fucking rules. And I do mm -hmm. have a few clips from that that we'll uh, we'll talk about. But this is the sad thing. So no more hypocrisy police. He's ending the show. He just started this show. It was the biggest hit he's ever had, to be honest with you. He's never had more viewers, but he can't do it anymore. No more hypocrisy, please. <laughs> the reason why I call it the hypocrisy police is when they do it like now, in this year or the or 2022. If, if you're going to bring up a shit from seven years ago, yeah, then we're all hypocrites. Okay, because so are you saying we're in a world now where we can start the clock today, August 15th, anything... Before today, we're not talking about it anymore. We're only no, talking about August 15th. No, no, I'm saying if you go back two years, okay. But if you start going back 10, 20, 30 years, come on. So recent history only. Don't you agree? I, I, I agree no history is relevant, but. Okay. Howard was in blackface, right? <laughs> yes. So John immediately deflects. He's just like, have I said a bunch of shit that's very hypocritical? Yeah, but Howard wasn't blackface. And you <laughs> have a gambling problem. Yeah. I mean, just, it's always this shit where it's like, yeah, but what about yeah. what about this thing? So that's why I said 18 months. He says, okay, if it happened this year or 2022, then you're allowed to talk about it. But anything before that, no longer able to discuss these things because I brought up a bunch of things that John made John a little uncomfortable when I was on the show with him. Now, Cardiff, how did you get John on your show? I assume you just sent him the link. Uh, I sent him the link like I do many, many times. Yeah, it's not the day. first link yeah. I've sent John. I will admit to that. Sure. Um, I told him. Uh, I just started. I sent him an update. You know, I, we had 400 people in the chat. People were really uh, positive on his day yep. on uh, on YouTube. And he said, tell me your real name and I'll come on. Oh, right. He's so yes. obsessed with that. We'll get into that because he really wants to know your real name. But yes. I thought this was a fun little thing that happened because I don't know that he's joking about this. And you can tell me if he is or not. F him. John, John, I am honored that you're telling me to go fuck myself. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm glad you're doing and it on the By the way, show. Uh, Cardiff, I hope you're going to pay me for this. Yes, John. You tell me what you need and I'll get you money. Yeah, just give me like 200 for this. Done. Absolutely right, done. Thanks. It's going to come through a third party, but it'll get to you. No, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm going to get to you. Why are you so private? Why are you so... Are you famous? <laughs> well, yeah, it's Cardiff Electric. Yeah. You never heard of him? Most, most famous, famous podcast, podcast on the in the internet world today. today. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. So on the internet, Andy. Get did you uh, did you pay uh, John $200? Are you planning on paying him $200? I did. You did? I did. And David Chandler also paid John last Jesus night. Jesus Christ. So That's unbelievable. Well. That's unbelievable. Well, good, good on you. You so, did a great job keeping him on. Like, I, yeah, you know he he was He's gonna, for two hours. He was going to jump ship, and Cardiff just kept you know. Doctor Steve fucked it all up. Yeah, yeah. We, we, all right, spoiler, <laughs> we'll get to that. I have that clip. Great so, ending. Yep. Yeah, so this is the thing, John. For whatever reason, needs to know Cardiff's real name. It's very important to him. His name's Spud. That he knows his real name. OJ, do you know my name? And be honest. I do not. Who cares? You Carter. do, because you've made a big deal about it. No, Carter, you're not getting the point. I like you. I think you're funny. You've been helpful to me. In I fact, you sent me that background. Yes, twice. <laughs> yeah, I know, but for some reason I didn't get it the first one. Well, I did, but then I guess I had you in spam and then went away. So now you sent me that today. 
as a as helping me, right? Yes. Look at it's Eric Nagel's watching. He's like, is this real? <laughs> yeah. Is this real madness? Okay. So for me, I go, okay, he's first of all, I know he's funny. And, and then I chimed I in know. out here. <laughs> said, this convo is retarded. Yeah. This chat my, just chat, keeps... <laughs> my chat was a who's who of yeah. middle of the road podcasts. <laughs> we were all in there. We were all in there. And we're all going, what is I'm like, what is this conversation where John's just like, well, I like you, Connor, but you gotta tell me what your first name is. Do you like yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So stupid. Now he appears to be a good guy. So I, the only thing I don't understand is why you wouldn't, like, and I know you're afraid I would dox you, but I already, I'll, I swear to my life, I would never do that. I would never even say the first initial to <laughs> you. Yeah, right. And, and I believe you wouldn't intentionally. Yeah. But accidentally, I wouldn't happen. even do it accidentally. John, you've given up your address on stream. How can I trust yes. you with my information? Good point. Because I would delete the whole thing. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, right. even do it accidentally. Yeah. Is the funniest thing John said right. all day yesterday. <laughs> yeah. What an idiot. <laughs> I know how to avoid accidents. <laughs> what a fucking moron. And Kurt, a brilliant point. John's like, well, you can trust me with this information. He's like, John, you're the one who docks your own address. Yeah. yeah. I brought this up to him. <laughs> On the show as well yesterday, that as he's showing off his sh- his um, house using Zillow before he brought all this crap in there, when it actually still looked nice, he had the entire address just showing up on his screen for <laughs> many minutes. <laughs> so stupid. All right. So I guess the question is, why does it matter if you know Cardiff's real name? I'll go on record as saying I do not know Cardiff's real name. I've never asked. I don't care. Yeah, I don't want to know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've not been in your you. house and you don't know my real name. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't I don't care. Um, I know where you live, but I don't know your real name. Ooh, so the question is, why does any of this fucking matter to anyone? If you I, gave me a name, Cardiff, I yeah. swear on my life, when you gave me a name, I would delete that. And so you, there will be no semblance of any of that. What? But why so, does it mean so much to you to know my name? Because I want to know who the fuck I'm talking to. It's just a, my my wife is practically calling me Cardiff half the time. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about it. No offense. Hey, don't talk about my family. Do you see? <laughs> this is well illustrating played. the point that Elisa was just making. John... Just streaming from his house right now. This is fascinating. Yeah. He's saying the dumbest shit possible. He's talking about how he's going to burn the evidence after he finds out the guy's name. However, that works. You know, it this, this message will self destruct. Right. Yeah. None of this makes any sense. He's talking about how you had to send him my background twice because the first <laughs> one ended up in spam. Or I don't yeah. think he knows what spam means. Because that didn't make any fucking sense. This guy's great. And uh, actually, this guy is fantastic. Carl's loving it so he can play this a billion times tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. I'm done. Uh, just once will do. <laughs> so he saw that I was in the chat and he's just like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I'm very drunk on the internet and Carl's probably going to clip this. Ding, ding, ding. I sure did. I sure did. All right. This is funny because John gets up to use the bathroom, which is the only light on. So there's a light on behind him. It's the only way that you can see anything. And it's from the bathroom. And of course, he's got these boxes and stuff. Mm-hmm. So when he gets up to go to the bathroom, it's all Panda Express. Cardiff decides to go full screen yeah. so that we can see what's doing it's in this very house. Sad. So he's make his yeah. yeah. <laughs> so one of his bedrooms uh, is just an air mattress and just a pile of boxes that looked like they were probably dark, taped up by John. It's just <laughs> masking tape. Or a everywhere. blind yeah. person. <laughs> it looks right. like they were dragged behind a car from <laughs> California to Florida. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the thing when. I asked John to um, get some light on him and take down the green screen. He goes, "Why? So you can make fun of the box?" And I'm like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> I also want to see there's a cockroach. Do us a favor. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we're looking for here. <laughs> a nice bed. The inflatable mattress is the best part. It's great. Oof. This is what he thought he was going to have two chicks come over to his ho- this house. How am I supposed to get a chick in this? <laughs> so stupid. All right. So then, El Harible joins the stream. And El Haribe does something that's very funny. He calls Johnny drunk <laughs> over and over <laughs> so again, great. which is fantastic. Who's that? Uh, 
El I wrote Horrible, that. our friend El Horrible. Finally. Another guy with a mask. The Another great guy with a mask. <laughs> Another guy with a mask. Don't we all wear masks, John? No. No. <laughs> no, we don't. This You're is not wearing me. a Ugly, as ugly as I am, this homeless is me. woman mask. You can't, even, you can't even come in as yourself, you fucking coward. I hope this isn't the moment that uh, Bedabbler decides to get revenge on me and destroy this right, moment that I'm having. Get rid of the, get rid of them. I'll no, leave. They really, they really are fans. I'll they leave. All... No, then tell him to show his face. He doesn't need to show his face, John. We're, we're all fans of no, him. No, no. All right, hold on. I'll be right face. back. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right, all right. you drunk. It. Shut up, you drunk. Don't hold do on. it. <laughs> Get Shut rid up, of you him. drunk. Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So what El Horrible left to go do is put on a second mask. So you pull this gag where he's like, all right, here you go. And then he's got the mask <laughs> underneath that. He didn't get to that point, unfortunately, to do that to John. Not that John was paying attention. Because Dr. Steve joins. Or should I say Myrtle? <laughs> <laughs> Myrtle joins the show. And I saw that Dr. Steve was chatting away. So, of course, I'm texting with him. And uh, I just, I couldn't believe this happened that he was the one who scared John off the show. You're a liar. But that was yesterday, John. Today is a new day. No, it's not yesterday. <laughs> Today. 16 you... minutes it'll be yesterday. It's not <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, I believe Dr. Steve <laughs> is trying to join him right now. <laughs> oh, I like that. Steve. Would you like to meet Dr. Steve? He'll yes. Oh well, I thought it was Dr. Steve. These two guys. Hello, Dr. Steve Puppet. <laughs> no. Well, well I was just go tea. All right, I'm out of here. Hold on, it's good to see old stutter. This puppet really <laughs> is Dr. Steve. So John thinks he's getting pranked because nobody's showing their face on here. So of course this puppet shows up, and it is Dr. Steve. Yeah. But this really throws John off. <laughs> you know, Myrtle. Hey, Myrtle. Myrtle. What's wrong? Wait, you fellas, I hope you had some good Beatles tonight. Hey, Tar, you it was a good time. <laughs> Dr. Steve, show your face before he leaves. Before Stop he leaves, leaves. Show your Dr. Face. Steve, please. Please. Don't don't leave. Leave. We gave everybody content tonight. But Dr. Um, Dr. Steve, uh, show your face. Oh, wait. Dr. Steve. <laughs> Well, I look, Let him looks go. like John had him some corn squeeze and some really corn leaves. Dr. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Steve. He's got Dr. Steve. Oh, Dr. Steve's fault. But again, in, in fairness, Dr. Steve brought me into this world, and Dr. Steve should be the one to take me out of this world. <laughs> I sure am sorry. I, I, I ruined your show there, Mr. Cardiff. You sure are a good failer, I'll tell you that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is so insane. But even when I'm clipping this, I'm like, what am I doing with my life right now? This is what I'm clipping to play on my show. And I'm also fascinated by it. I was watching it live and I watched it back again today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wrong. You yeah, created like... this, jackass. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 good point. I guess, I guess it does make sense that I'd be clipping this. I think we get the classic uh, moment of Tukey yes! and Bedabbler. Tukey joins the show. <laughs> and for the first time, you see El Horrible and Tukey at the same time. Yeah, so many firsts on the Carter Collector YouTube Why channel. Why do I love it so much? I don't know. I thought we were going to answer that today. I don't know if we did. But no, thank you, Kinky. <laughs> I, I've I overstayed say, my welcome. I got to go. <laughs> Dr. Steve. I'll ruin you. it if I stay much longer. No, you're more than welcome. I'm not Dr. More Steve. You would not ruin anything. Oh, Tukey. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic Tukey. to see you, Dr. Steve. <laughs> my favorite. I thought this was going to be a Tukey free day. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a, a Tukey free day is a bad day. I realize that you can't see Bedabbler's uh, lips anyway. It doesn't make any sense. I can have Tukey and Bedabbler. My greatest the world's greatest moment. ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a rare treat. The world's smartest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sent me to bed with a smile on my face last night. Yeah. Getting to see uh <sighs> getting to see the behind the scenes of how Tukey actually operates. Did you know that that's how it worked, Cardiff? No. no. Yeah, I, I thought he, I really thought Tukey was alive. Me too. I thought it was a monster. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one more clip from Cardiff show last night, and that is a uh, super chatter got uh, Tukey to say something that's very exciting to me. Uh, go Bills! That's right. Tukey's a Bills fan, everybody. That's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's more of an OJ fan. But... Well, aren't we all though? 
Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, we were playing a clip. So I have a new show called Who Are These Broadcasters? It premiered yesterday. It's on our YouTube channel. We also put it in the feed for Who Are These Podcasts? We'll have our own feed soon. But uh, we played a OJ clip, and OJ has updated his spiel. He used to say, hello, Twitter world, and now he's calling it X. He's the only guy I know who's actually buying into this X thing and not just calling it Twitter still. <laughs> hello, X. Yeah. I liked, uh, who is it, uh, Eric Zane, saying that the whole new generation of people that watch the show are pro-OJ now. Yeah. That's so wild. It's it's so bizarre. So he was saying that the younger people only know OJ from the recreated, whatever that drama American was. American Crimes yeah. saga or whatever, yeah. Yeah, so they're all Team OJ. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Uh, the rest are just like, he got away with murder. What the yeah. fuck is going on? Okay. So I just want to play a couple clips. Please, I'll put it up on our Patreon. It's still on John's YouTube channel right now. I don't know how long it's going to last there. But you can watch the full two and a half hour interview I did with Stuttering John. There were times when it got a little frustrating for me because what John would do is when I would start asking him a question or going into something, he would just start reading super chats to interrupt me and to stop the conversation. Yeah, it's very selective. I did get over that to varying degrees. We definitely got into some very important things. But I want to show you John's gotcha moment. I want to show you what John thought he was going to bring out to put me in my place. And for the record, my entire okay. three hours is still up on my YouTube channel and will yeah, remain yeah. free. Okay, very good. As a Check service to dabblers. Check out Cardiff's uh, <laughs> channel as well. So John brings on the picture of me in the cow bikini <laughs> from my creep off consequence. John's new best friend, Vinnie Paulino, sent this to John. Oh, nice. <laughs> and John's Asshole. like, oh, yeah. He's like, oh, I got Carl on this one. And and okay. who made Vinny and John best friends? Was that you? Yes. <laughs> You're a real problem, you know that? <laughs> I'm looking forward to the day when Tukey takes over for you. And we see Tukey on all these shows. Too bad, too bad uh, B. Dabbler actually has a life. Actually has shit to do. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to explain to John yesterday that I've probably irritated you more than I've irritated John in the two mm. years I've been doing this shit. That's true. That's a good point. Okay. Now, if Carl's supposed to be hetero, why is he dressed up like a cowgirl? <laughs> All right, first off, if Carl's supposed to be hetero, why is he dressed up like a cowgirl? A cowgirl? Yeah. <laughs> That's a dumb statement. Gang gang, got All me right. feeling like a cowgirl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ice cream, yum. Okay. Do you want me to give the answer to this? Okay, but look at that. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, I know. It's not great. I agree. <laughs> oh, look how chunky you are, you fat fuck. John, again. Making fun yeah. of my accent. Making fun of my accent and making yeah. fun of my weight are two things you should not do, all right? Oh, I'm you, you're fat and you talk like a moron. I'm not what talking about. <laughs> look, who you, look who talks like a moron. Look who talks like a like a moron. Oh, 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 oh. I thought he made some good points <laughs> at the end there. <laughs> really shut him down with that one. Yeah. One of my better arguments. Um, okay, so this is such a dumb argument because John's trying to say that I must be gay. Or else <laughs> why else would I be dressed like this? Now, you do know why that exists, right? All I know is I would never dress well. I only did for the Stern Miss America book, but that's... You know, but it was a consequence for the creep off. We have a okay. review girl who wore a cow bikini very famously on who are yeah. these podcasts. And so that yeah, was okay. a consequence okay. when I lost yeah. on the creep off. Sure. sure. I'm not okay. gay. It's yeah. just something okay. I do to make sure everyone's protected. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, everyone on. in this chat knows that to be true. So yeah. you doing yeah. that bit is not working right now, John. Yeah. Everyone sure in here knows what's going on except for you. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you had it in your lingerie drawer. Space Ghost. Thanks <laughs> Good for the one. two bucks. Still looks better than you, hypocrite, Sean. <laughs> Yeah, so John's really trying to play this thing. Like, he thought he had this whole thing. Oh, like, oh gotcha, I John. I got him now. Oh, yeah. it, it would be like you you caught me sucking eight dicks yeah. is the way he treats this photo of me in a cow bikini <laughs> that was obviously a consequence for the creep off. But he's just like, well, then why are the balls in your mouth if you're not gay? <laughs> yeah. like, okay. is, is eight the gay number, Carl? <laughs> eight is, yes. Seven is fine. Seven you can okay. talk your way out of. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't even feel anything at eight. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's a good joke right there thank you all right so john turns into a child here because i was annoyed he kept interrupting me with super chats so then he has to start acting like he's so put off by 
me disappointing him. I missed a lot of these, so I don't know what you want me to do. So you tell, I mean, you know, I, well, you know, I, I don't know what, like, you, you get mad if I read the Super Chats. I, I mean, all like, right, go ahead. Let's get caught up then, John. No, John. What do you want me to do? <laughs> let's, I just said, let's get caught up. All right. I can tell that you're you're a little bit razzled from what I just said. About what? You're a little razzled Who, because me? you know this episode exists somewhere. And I don't when know we what track it down, about. I don't when care. we track it down, your family. All right, I should have set this up. So, what I had just done before this is I had dropped the bomb, and I don't know if John knows this to be true or not because from what I heard, he was very drunk on this Artie Lang podcast that he did that has never made its way to the internet. There's only a couple people who have heard this episode, but I've talked to one of those people who was there when it was recorded. And apparently, the guy who goofs on John's kids the most is John. There is a <laughs> podcast of John and Artie Lang. It was right around the time that his child was transitioning, or maybe a little bit after that. And he was the one making all the jokes about it. And Dan Filato, who's a good guy, who was producing Artie's show at the time, reached out to John and said, Hey, do you want me to put this up? Because I I won't if you tell me not to. I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> That's basically yeah. what he said to him. Yeah. And John was very drunk. He's like, ah, oh, it's fine. It doesn't matter. So they didn't put it up. And then the next day, John said, went, dude, do not post that. And so he didn't. So there's this episode. And the way that Daniel explains this to me, he goes, oh, his family would not be happy with him if they heard the shit that he said on this episode. And I'm not trying to like tattle on people or rat people out, but it's just the fact that John is such a hypocrite talking about, you can't talk about my kids, but he's the first one to do it. And now he acts like it's the craziest thing anyone could ever do. So I hit him with that and I hit him pretty hard and he tried to change the subject. And I brought it back to that subject and I hit him a few times with that to the point where by the end, he's going, you know, Carl, I was very confused, you know, and when, uh, and I'm so bad at this. I think his daughter transitioned to his son. Okay. He's like, well, my daughter came to me and I didn't know about this kind of thing. And, you know, it was all new to me. So it's a cope thing. You could tell already that John knows he fucked up, Mm -hmm. thinks it might get out. And so now he's trying to figure out a way to talk his way out of it already ahead of time. So this is where I'm talking about where he's kind of reeling here. About what? You're a little razzled because you know this episode exists somewhere. And I don't when know we what track it down, talking about. I don't and when care. we track it down, your family's not going to be too pleased with you, my friend. It, it was me on And already. that's the fucked up thing because I don't really care. I'm not a tattletale. But the fact that you go on there and talk about everyone bashing your kids and how terrible that is, and really you're the one who was doing it. The first it's insane line. to me. It's so hypocritical. Yeah. On, on you're such a hypocrite. Show? On, on Artie Lang's show. podcast. Yep. I don't remember it at all. But yeah, well, you were pretty what drunk. What making jokes about? You were pretty drunk. Well, you're, you were making jokes about people missing certain private parts and things like that. So, Well, it must have been a long, long time ago then. Oh, yeah. A long, long time ago. Back when you were in your like early 50s. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it must have been a long, long time ago. Yeah. It was the Artie Lang podcast, like 2017, 2018. Yeah. Long, long time ago. And that's why you saw when he went on Cardiff's show, he's just like, and these people called me up for shit I did seven years ago. Yeah, if we're going to go all the way back to uh, <laughs> yeah, when I was seven 15. years ago. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, all right. So then this goes on and on during the show where I bring shit up. He, he threatened a mob hit. And he brought John Gotti Jr.'s name into it. He's like, I'm hanging out with John Gotti Jr. That's why, that's why I threatened this mob hit. And then I wrote, read a note from John Gotti Jr.'s nephew, or uh, John Gotti's grandson, John Gotti Jr.'s nephew, uh, saying, John's got to get fucking my uncle's name out of his fucking mouth. They do not have a relationship. And I read this whole note to him. And he's just like, I don't even remember doing that. All Everything that I was telling him he did that's hypocritical. He's like, I don't even remember any of that stuff. How convenient. How convenient. He remembers everything on his second grade report card, but can't remember any of the things that he did that were fucked up. And then this happens. Dang, Lizard. Thanks for two bucks, John. Didn't you tell us about your perfect memory? Yeah, but not everything. Um, <laughs> That's not what perfect means, John. Yeah, yeah, it's not that perfect. Uh, it's not that perfect. It's not that perfect. It's perfect, but not that perfect. It's just a little bit perfect. Perfect-ish. <laughs> when it suits me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so then John doubles down on the fact that I'm gay. And I, I think I had a pretty good comeback. So weak. Such a weak premise. You're burying this ass, so calls running scared. No, if you if you claim you're not gay, but then you go out and wear that, maybe look. Just so you know, Bruce Jenner used to dress up like a woman, and Kim Kardashian caught Bruce wearing Kim's dress. And what cereal box is he on now? 
Oh, yeah, that was I, – I stopped doing that. It, it isn't appropriate anymore. When did you stop doing it? Two years ago? No, about ten years – seven years ago. That's a lie. Six. All right. That's another lie. Chalk Why? How long ago? It, it was a couple of years ago. It, yeah, all right. I said it two years ago. I don't remember, but but I, I, I had to stop. I you know the punchline is Fruit Loops, oh, everybody. Just see yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sensitive uh, Democrat here, John. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, John. His entire act he wrote twenty years ago, and he still has been doing that same act every stand-up show he does. And now he's claiming. No, granted, he's not getting gigs anymore. So yeah, he hasn't said it. Very recently, <laughs> but if he were getting booked to do comedy somewhere, he would, he would be saying that it, joke. that's part of his act. Is that all right? Here's my, my heck. Here's my last clip. <laughs> this is just he's impossible to understand. This guy, correct? And we appreciate Zero, it. Thanks for the five bucks, John. Is the ultimate give victim grow up, John? Holy fuck! Oh, Carl, the one thing you have to show me because you know that you're better at this than me yeah. when it comes to the the, uh, the technical aspect. I don't know how you figured out. Um, how, you know, like, you know, how, how the YouTube number, like you were able to figure out just as much, like, like how much, you know, how much I made. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was watching this live. I was cracking the fuck up. I literally turned into the drop. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? The fuck are you talking about? Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-E